Hello, is it me you're looking for? Well, if it is, you're in the right place. Um, okay, <laughs> welcome to part 10. Uh, I'm Alex, this is the Pokemon Red Battle Lock, and uh, sure, we've been doing it in every episode so far. Uh, ignore Cut, Benji, new addition to the team, Jolteon. Uh, uh, I see good things in this guy's future, but not yet, because we're in the electric gym. Uh, no, we're in the grass gym, and grass resists electric, so I'm not using him just yet, but he's in the team. Uh, challenge tank. War Turtle, you are wonderful. And you got Ice Beam last episode, which means you can hit Grass types if we need you to. I don't plan on using you in this because it's too risky. Uh, Drogi the Primate, doing the Drunk Giraffe as ever. And yeah, you got Rock Slide last time as well, which could fit in Flying types, not useful in the gym, but whatever. More! Uh, only realistically has one decent moving dig, and that's not going to be too useful in this gym, so again. But Pidgeotto finally hit level 32, he's level 33 now actually, and got Wing Attack, which is an actual good flying move. So we at least have something to hit all these grass types with on something that isn't weak to grass. So here we are, about to take on Erica, and I feel like it's the grass gym, but you, you might think that refers to grass types, but I think it's because she smokes grass all day. So, dude, lovely weather and that. It's like so pleasant. And just spaces out. Oh dear, I must have dozed off because I'm so high. Welcome, my name's Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. She teaches flower arranging. Whatever. You had no idea. Well, had no idea you wish to challenge me. You probably don't have an idea on much because you spend half your day stoned. Right, let's see what you got. You got anything interesting for me? You knelt down wearing a. Uh, is that a kimono? I think it's a kimono. Victory Bell. Wow, leading off with the fully evolved power. Good lord. I don't think. I mean, we're four levels above, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an advantage. Let's see if we can two shot this thing, though. Is it two KO? It's almost an Oko with the crit. Jeez, well, the crit we might have any trouble there. Uh, can we finish you off with a quick attack? We, I think so. Yes. Yeah, finish you off with a quick attack. That's nice. Uh, let's use Tangler. Ooh, these things have a lot of defense. But, oh, why am I using quick attack again? God damn it. Crit, though. Wow. New addition to the team crit machine, everybody. Jesus Christ. Super fact. Ooh, almost killed her. She used... It was at her full health when you used that sub super potion. You didn't know I was going to do that much damage. Actually, that's because another weird Gen 1 mechanic. Um, the... Uh, was it? The, the, the game, the in-game computer, knows what you're going to do. Basically, the game tells your opponent, if that makes sense, what you're about to use, and then it makes its decision on what it's going to do. So if you switch out, it knows what you're switching into and can use a move accordingly. Yeah, Gen 1 mechanics. <laughs> so many little bugs and broken bits of gameplay. Oh my word. Well, we'll tangle it down. Uh, what else have you got? Vile Plume. This is your last thing. It's also probably your scariest thing. God, that sprite is gonna haunt my dreams. Ooh, that's not quite a 2 kill Petal Dance. That's powerful. I do resist it, but it is. Uh. Oh, nothing to worry about. Good lord. Well, that was Erica. Um, another gym where we had a type advantage and not a lot to worry about because she. Didn't have any coverage for flying types, I guess. I don't know. Oh, no, level 34, so that's nice. Pidgeotto is uh, now streaks ahead. You're remarkably strong. I must confer upon you of the rainbow badge. Thanks, love. Uh, so, yeah, I got the rainbow badge. Makes Pokemon new stuff. Please, take this with you. I'm so stoned, I don't know what I'm giving you. Mega Drain. I'm gonna be uh, sucking things out of me there, okay? Scary. Uh, cut through the tree and we're out. Uh, ignoring the creepy old man that was there last episode. Actually, let's fucking anything learn Mega Drain. That is the question. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and doubt it. I mean, the cut slave can, but we're not using the cut slave, so we'll keep hold of Mega Drain because it's a good move, and maybe something will uh, be able to use, make use of it later down the line. It is a pretty good move, and there's no Giga Drain in this game, so Mega Drain is the best. Well, it's one of the better uh, grass moves, and there's no better version of it, which is unfortunate. Gen 1 had a lot to uh, uh, do. <laughs> no, I'm just... no it, it had a lot of little things that needed improving, and a lot got changed between first and second gen, and uh, the introduction of Giga Rain was one of them. 
Now, uh, where can I go from here? Ooh, no. We're not done in Celadon. I just remembered. We have to go in exchange for prizes, lovely. Um, we have to go in. Oh, no, it is. I was in the right place, just wrong building. This is the game corner. And if you've never played the game before, uh, you'd have ended up walking around Celadon, and someone would have told you there was a shady character in the game corner, and here he is. So, I'm guarding this poster. Go away, or else. Well, if you're going to make a threat, at least give me the chance to go away. Silly, silly people. Uh, yeah, dead. Zubat, yeah, not dead. Now you're dead. I got confused there. That was almost risky. But I wouldn't have been in any much trouble. Uh, a hideout might be discovered. I better tell the boss. And speeds off over here. How did he just disappear? This is a cool poster. What's behind it? Hey, a switch. Well, what do you know? What a stroke of luck, yeah. And look, the stairs have appeared. That's good. Now, we're in the rocket base. I think this is a good place to give. Didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was this. And we're going to give Benji a shot. Because I don't think Team Rockets will be very strong. So we're going to give Benji a chance to get uh, caught up level wise with the rest of the team. Who are you? How do you get in here? Followed your idiot friend. Uh, ooh, drowsy. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a powerful animation for Thunderbolt. Almost gave me a seizure. And crit. Another member of Team uh, Crit Machines? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Might be, because Jolteon is hella fast. I think it's the fastest thing in this generation. No, uh, Electro's quicker. But apart from that, I think Jolteon and Aerodactyl are like joint up second fastest, maybe? Can't think of anything else faster. What was, what, what was that? My job. I think Thunderbolt all goes you. Oh, it does. My word. Uh, Benji is a fine addition to the team, and he is going to be murdering people henceforth. Dead end. Why would you build that? It's just a corridor with trees in it. What do you got? Uh, you're critted. It quick attacks me, but I was at full health, so who cares? Which means I, uh, I should be able to live another one. I'm not. Yeah. I don't think I don't think the Thunderbolt crit the last one, so this guaranteed I'll kill. 100%. He's not a crit machine because he doesn't crit every time, but he's so fast that he's going to get a lot. So looking good. Skate rope. I've already got two of those, so now we have three, so that's handy, I guess. Uh, well, that's this floor cleared out. Nothing else going on in there, I don't know. No, there's nothing there. Okay, next floor. <sighs> What's next in the rocket base? Well, this guy, apparently. Uh, boss said you can see ghosts with a silver skull. Oh yeah, we need that. That's why we're in here. We're going to try and get a silph scope, because we need it to get through uh, Lavender Death Doom Tower place. You're weak to Thunderbolt, you're dead. Uh, you have no spa death, so you're dead. Grimer, ooh, you might live this. And I want to know what you go for. Nope, never mind. Good lord, Jolteon, you good. Jolteon is good when it has Thunderbolt. Uh, right, okay, we already know you can't live this. Jesus Christ. I don't think that'll be quite this easy. Oh, okay, here's the fun part. Spinny puzzles. Right, that's gonna take me there. And this just takes me over here. And I can run over here quick and scoop this thing up. What are you? No good! It's five grand right there, we'll sell that later. Uh, let's just go back where we were. It was here. And there's another random item. It's a good thing I have speed up in this area, but this would take forever. Moonstone! God, there's a lot of moonstones in this game. Let's just, because that'll. Uh, the squares. I realise I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see where I'm pointing. Um, the squares. No, wait. How will this record? Never mind. I can't, I'm not trying to work this out. The squares that you can see that all stood right next to there, they stop you. What's TM7? Uh, it is Horn Drill. That is an OK move. But it's only got 30% accuracy, so that's another thing we're selling. Uh, oh, God, where's this going to take me? Just go down here. Oh, that was dumb. That was very dumb. Um, what if I... Oh, I can go to this thing. That's not too far. And then this will take me to the one on the right. No, it took me out. How did that... What? Weird. Uh, let's go right where we were. I need to do that. And we got to here. So that... Yeah, this should just take me to that square there. Which it does, so how did that other one... Whatever. This will take me to that next square, so that's fine. And then this takes me to there. 
I think there might be an item over there, but this looks more important. Because this is an area we couldn't access previously. That's a lift, but I don't have the lift key yet. Uh, I know this game far too well. Uh, why'd you come in here to whoop all your asses? Uh, Thunderbolt dead. <sighs> Raining thunder. I should have called this thing Thor, because it just rains thunder down upon all my foes and murders them instantly. I'm not suggesting Thor murders people. But, although, thinking on it, I have, uh... Hang on, I need super potions. I don't know what I did come in with my bike forwards and ether because we're running out of thunderbolts. But yeah, I, I read uh, Civil War uh, over the weekend. And that is a good comic. And I cannot wait for the, uh... I can't wait for the film next year. That is going to be... It's, I mean, with the amount of characters in it, it's like Avengers 2... Point five, and there's going to be so many characters, but I just... I now know that the story is very good, and I can't wait to see what they do with the film. They can't do everything the same, because there's some really weird stuff with characters that we haven't seen on screen yet, so for people that only watch the films, it'd be a bit... sort of, maybe a bit hard to uh, get your head around and a bit odd with a lot of the characters, but... Uh, I'm sure they'll do a great job, because, I mean, all the Marvel films so far, with the exception of one or two, have been great. So, Machop, you got Thunderbolt. I know I'm speeding through this, but when I already know the outcome of every turn, then there's not a lot of point uh, waiting to see what happens. What do you use? That's interesting. Oh, I didn't even look. Was it a TM? Might have been a TM. Double Edge? Oh god, it was a TM. Double Edge? Everything can learn Double Edge. Ooh, um, Jesus, I'm holding off on, I'm not teaching Mole these things, because uh, Double Edge is powerful, but it's a recoil move, and I don't want to be taking damage, I don't have to with Mole, because he's frail, as he's drug it, and he's, again, he's already got, um, Perma Crit Karate Job. I think the best one to teach this to is uh, Pidgeotto, because it's like, it's like an emergency button, if we're in trouble, go for Double Edge and murder something, plus it's normal type stab, which um, Pidgeot is the only normal time we have on deck, so, uh, yeah, we're going to have Wing Attack and Double Edge as its primary stab with Quick Attack. All of a sudden, with the addition of two different moves, Pidgeot has a good move set. <laughs> so, yeah, we're good. Um, sweet, Double Edge. I'm just going to have to be careful with Double Edge because, as I say, it's a recon move and I don't like taking damage, I don't have to. Yeah, he's just telling me I need a Lift Key. So, will that be... Hey. Damn it, I shouldn't have sped up there, but I hate dead ends. Why build dead ends into this place? Uh, let's go this way. And then this way. And then this way looks safe. Ooh, that's an item. What's this? Is it good? Red candy, sweet. Uh, hang on. Yeah, I've just thought from that's fine. Next time he levels up, I'll give him that red candy. Um, I'm just gonna have to go back to the start of this, actually. That's annoying. If you get that, if you go that way, you gotta go back to the whatever. Um, let's go this way again, and this time, no, we have to go this way, don't we? I hate these puzzles. Uh, should I just those both take me to the boxes? What am I going wrong? What if? We go this way first. Doesn't make a lot of difference, does it? No, it just takes me back to the same place. Uh, what? I've never had this much trouble with this puzzle in the past. I don't know if it's just because I'm recording myself at the same time with them. Oh God, I'm retarded. It's this way, and it's this one because that just takes me down there with this guy. Brilliant. Jesus, I'm blind. I don't know if it's just because I'm recording at the same time. You don't see stuff as easily. Ah, uh, I don't know. I've never had that much trouble with that puzzle before. Drowsy. Does this, did this all go the other way, did, didn't it? Yeah, especially when you crit them. We crit the last one. See, it's speed differences give you crits. It's wonderful. What's up here? Ooh, don't want to go up there because that's way out. Um, that's where I get the key. Hi, guy. Do you give me a key? I bet you give me a key. Who has the lift key? I bet it's you. I bet it's you. Uh, Zubat die. And uh, level 29. Oh, no! Uh, oh no, I dropped the lift key. Well, aren't you a dumbass? Here's the thing, playing this through this game the first time, would you have known to talk to him again after you've just battled him? So many little 
bullshit little things in Gen 1 that could have just impeded your progress through no fault of your own. No more room for items. Oh, well, I guess I'll just use that. Ooh, rare candy. Sort of. Yeah, like, right, what is this good? Ooh, it's another. How many TMs are we getting? Jesus. Uh, Razor Win. Nope, that's a trash move. Sounds good, isn't it? It's a two turn move like Solar Beam, but it's kind of weak and normal type, so it's largely pointless. Are you a TM as well? No more for items. God, is there anything I can just sort of use quickly? Uh, this is a super potion, get Benji healed up. Oh no, but that doesn't actually free up bag space because I have 10 of them and they take up that slot. Uh, damn it. Um. Let's, let's toss this Paralyze Heal. Yeah, let's throw that away just so we have some bike space. Because I don't know what that was, bollocks. HP up. Ooh, good, that's something we can use straight away. Who wants more bulk? Give Challenger all the bulk possible because he is our emergency little. Shit, something's gonna die. Switch into Challenger. He can take the hit. That's what he is. That's his official title. Uh, okay, so we've got the Lift Key now. Lift Key lets us do, you guessed it, the Lift. Uh, is the Lift down here? Can I get the Lift here? Oh, guys. Yeah, that's where I got double edge. Ah. Uh, so, well, this is the bottom floor of the rocky base, I think. Yeah, well that, anyway, so if we go back up here, do we battle you? We did battle you, that's not where the lift is. Where's the lift? Oh, we've got to do the puzzle again to get the lift, haven't we? Uh, whatever. There we go, this way, the lift down there, and then, yeah, you got to do this again. God. I didn't mean to go all the way that way. Okay, so let's go. It was this way, and then it was. No, it wasn't this one, was it? <clears throat> oh boy, if I go here. Ah, no, we're still good. We're still good. Yeah, I thought I was in trouble again. I was about to get annoyed. But no, fine. Uh, okay, so finally. You've got to do all that just to get to the lift. How inconvenient must it be to work as a rocket grunt in this base? Which floor? Bottom one. Basement four. And here we are, two new guys. Uh, I'll challenge you in a sec once I've checked out down here. Ooh, there is a thing. I was hoping there was going to be a thing. What are you? Iron! Can I clobber them around the head with an iron? <laughs> Just steamroll through, not need to battle them? Doubt it. Iron, raise the defense of something. Actually, let's give Pidgeot. Let's give uh, the eventual Pidgeot some bulk. I'm not giving the frail guys bulk because well, I mean, what's the point? If if I, if, I'm, if they can't just kill something, I'm gonna be switching them out anyway. So I may as well give my bulky things more bulk. These guys, what are you likely to have? Um, wow, Benji's all caught up already. What's your PP like? Uh, you only have two Thunderbolts left. Let's. I might need those. Let's quickly give you. I have Max Ethers left, I guess. Let's restore Thunderbolt completely. Uh, yeah, let's take these guys on. I know you, you ruined our plans at Mount Moon. What plans were those? Standard, oh, ground type. Got the Challenger, I need you. It failed doing something. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to use this mode to use Ice Beam. That is a cool animation. All the beam moves are cool animations. But as I was saying, what was your plan in Mount Moon? Stand around looking ominous with whips. Whip so many whips in this game. Yes, I'll switch. I want to go back into Benji because I want to. I want Benji to ruin everything with lightning. Sand slash can't ruin that with lightning. It's immune. It's bubble beam it. Bye. Trying to learn with draw. Uh, I didn't. You realize you were quite such an introvert. Uh, wasn't better than tail whip. I'd, I think I'd rather boost my own defense than lower my opponents. So yeah, he learned with draw. Burned. Yeah, sick burn, bro. In the itchy ear. I nearly did that in the last few episodes, but I refrained, but I couldn't. Uh, can I not see the beauty of our evil? Not yours, no. You guys suck. Uh, Thunderbolt dead. Sandro. Oh, shoot. Why did I press no? I didn't mean to press no. It was a mispress. Not a word, I don't know. Challenger. I need you. Bye. Arbok. Ooh, it was the first. It's one of the first fully evolved things. Oh, I mean, there was the Sand Slash and all the Rat Arcade. No, I, never mind, I guess a lot of them have been using fully evolved things. Uh, that tail looks... I don't know, is that ribbed for her pleasure? That's what it looks like. Oh well. Uh, catch this dig. And... Wow. So, 
My word, there's Giovanni. We're approaching 20 minutes. No, do you know what? I will actually take him on this episode because I've been living on a lot of uh, cliffhangers and it's Friday, so let's have an actual climax for the end of the week. <laughs> climax. Uh, let's have an actual thing happen at the end of this. Now, uh, I'm, I'm feeling Lee with the water type just because, if memory serves, he has a lot of ground types. So, Giovanni, can I do an Italian accent? Hey, I must say, I'm impressed that you got to hear. Oh, is that, oh, thank God that's all he said, because I don't know how long I could have kept that accent up. So yeah, Giovanni, um, stereotypical, slightly racist Italian crime boss, with what looks like a sort of exclusive club member's dinner jacket on. Slightly contradictory, but wow, I'm, I didn't realise you'd be so low leveled. I guess I probably should have done the rocket base before the gym. But whatever, we'll just oak all his onyx. I don't think we've had an onyx that we haven't at least two-shotted so far. Rhyhorn, nope, you're also very weak to water. Wow, that's a terrifying first-gen sprite. Even more spikes. Ugh. Interesting, I watched once a Let's Play. I once watched a Let's Play where a guy started with a right one and called it Spikes for that reason. So that was fun. Um, Tangascar, yeah, let's, let's go into our new... Uh, powerhouse and see how much of the wow money one level above this thing's actually a little bit scary because I don't have the most defense in the world and they only use bite. That still did a lot of crit, would have almost taken us out, but yeah, nothing to worry about. Thunderbolt to end the battle and yay! Uh, beating all the rockets in this area. Defeat the Giovanni. Oh, what did this guy not to be? Received nearly 3,000. That's drug money. I see you raised the Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. A small step, blah blah blah, I hope we meet again. Bye bye. Ooh, he's dropped the thing. So careless, these rockets. Dropping things that I might need. Self scope, wonderful. So, next episode, we're going to take that self scope over to the Tower of Graves and stuff in Lavender Town, and we're going to use it to look at ghosts. So, we'll catch that next time. Uh, as I said, this I think this is Friday's episode, so next one will be in three days, next Monday. And yeah, I very much hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Like if you liked. Uh, what's my thing? Like if you liked, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment if you have things to say, because I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much, and goodbye.